and you brothers to adopt piety and discipline. So there was a ritual of Namad in Salimani Farsi, and that was broken down into three parts. Ten rakat was on the first of Rajab, ten rakat was on the fifteenth of Rajab, and last ten rakat is on the last day of Rajab, and that will be on Sunday. Inshallah, I request all of you to pray that namaz. <coughs> and from Monday, Inshallah, the new month, month of Shaban will start. And few words about the importance of month of Shaban. Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Shaban is my month. Anyone who will have fast during this month, he will be blessed in paradise. Hazrat Ali alayhi salam quoted by the Prophet, if a person will have fast during the month of Shaban in the love of Holy Prophet and to get the happiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be rewarded by God at the day of judgment with blessings, his nearness and the paradise. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam ordered to Safwan Jamal, make the people ready for the Shaban fasting. Motivate the people, attract the people, request the people to observe fast in the month of Sha'ban. Holy Prophet needs our help during his month and that is by fasting. So Prophet is seeking your help and you can help your Prophet by fasting. Hazrat Ali always welcome this month by observing fast. Imam Jafar Sadiq emphasized on the importance of Sha'ban fasting. If a person kills another person unlawfully, but if he would have fast during the month of Shaban and requesting for his repentance and tawbah by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is most probably that he will be forgiven. So common rituals for this month are reading astaghfirullah wa as'alu tawbah every day 70 times. And Astaghfirullah Allah la ilaha illa illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum wa atubu ila it is also 70 times. Reading istighfar and giving charity is one of the best rituals for this month. And recite 1000 times during the whole month the zik and that is la ilaha illa Allah wa la na'budu illa iyyah mukhlasina lahuddin wa law karihal mushrikun. And there is a two rakat namaz for every Thursday during this month. And after Ham, one should recite 100 times Surah Ikhlas, Ahad. And after that, 100 times Salawat. And Hadith of the Prophet is, if a person will have fast on Monday and Thursday in the month of Shaban, his 20 hajat and request will be fulfilled here, and other 20 will be given afterward at the Day of Judgment. Reciting Salawat is highly recommended during this month. And there is also another dua which is given in Mufati al Jinan. Uh, every day after Zohr and on the 15th of Shaban, we have to read that dua, and that begins Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Shajarat al Nabuwa wa Ma'adin al Risala. So this dua is also given in Mufati al Jinan. And Munajat al Shaban, this is also highly recommended to read. And first of first three days, 15th of Shaban and the last three days of Shaban are highly recommended. The night of 15th of Shaban is second best night after Laylatul Qad, the night of decree. Shabbidai, reciting dua and reading Quran, performing the awful and showing love towards Imam Mahdi salam at that night is highly recommended. Also, most of you know, uh, Brother uh, Zarasha requested about the construction of one of the mosque and madrasa in Jehlam, name of that madrasa is Jame Hashmiya. So, all I will request all of you, please help him, and in this noble cause generously. And there is another poster tomorrow, three o'clock. There is majlis and niyaz at the residence of Birader Rehan Jafri. So, we request all of you uh, to attend that program. And inshallah, after Nawal Dhor, we will depart from here. And today was also a solar eclipse. Timing is past those who have, because Nawaz Ayat is wajib whenever there is lunar or solar eclipse. And those who have performed already Nawaz Ayat, that is okay. But those who haven't performed, so with the niyat of Qadha, 
they have to perform two rakat namaz ayat wajib qurbatan ila allah and after reading ham divide surah ikhlas into five parts mean after reading surah ham you will read bismillah rahman rahim then you will go and ruku after saying the zikr of ruku you will stand up and then you will read qul huwa allah ahad and then again you will go and ruku after standing then you will again say allahu samad and then you will go into ruku so this surah ikhlas is divided it has five verses so every time you will read one verse you will do one ruku so all together each rakat has five ruku and both rakat have ten ruku and for your easiness so when you will do the last ruku and then you will stand up and you will do qunut and then you will go and sajda and like ordinary namaz you will say tashahud and salam this namaz is wajib all those who are balik for them this namaz is wajib so we should not be lazy and we should not leave as it and we should try to perform i am also here to help you uh, we should perform this namaz as well bismillah rahman rahim inna atayna al qawsar fasalli li rabbika wa anhar inna shaniyata huwa al abtar allahumma <laughs>